Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. How may I help you, Commander? Is there anything I should know? You have unread messages at your private terminal. Anything else, Commander? That'll be all. Good luck out there, Shepard. I'm glad things worked out, Commander. I was worried you'd dump Samara for some crazy soul sucker with a death fetish all lithe and sexy and... Never mind. That's it for now. See you, Commander. Running green. Morinth haunted my dreams and waking hours equally. For the first time in 400 years, I am free. I am a ruined vessel of sorrow and regret, but I am free. It is not a feeling I can describe. Was it worth it? It was never a question of worth, but of need. I had to take the action I did, as did she. This was never a story that would have a happy outcome. You did your duty. What about your feelings? One of my daughters is dead. My hopes, my dreams were all bound up in my children. Still, my feelings have always come after my duty. The same is true of you. You said that Morinth was a monster, but she was still your daughter. She was the strongest and smartest. She would not accept the injustice thrust upon her. She fought to the end. I am so proud of her, Shepard. You killed her for being what she was. And I would again. But I also know what it means to leave everything behind and fight. Do you realize that she went on the run at the age of 40? I do not know human years well, but it is very young for Asari. What will you do now that Morinth is gone? Assuming I survive your mission? I am a Justicar. Injustice still exists, and perhaps even other Ardatyakshi. Morinth claimed that her condition was the future of the Asari race. Morinth would say anything that served her cause. Ardatyakshi are sterile, Shepard. That wouldn't be a particularly viable future for my people. There's no way to correct the condition Morinth had? We are an advanced species, but we don't have magic. When the trait manifests at maturity, it is too late for mitigation. It only occurs in purebloods like myself. Perhaps that is the root of the stigma regarding Asari-exclusive pairings. I don't know. I thought Ardat Yakshi were extremely rare. Asari have spread to many worlds. There are remote regions with no government oversight. If I travel to those worlds and they do exist, I will find them. 
You don't want to settle down? I did. I returned to my homeworld and tried to start a family. I will fight and struggle all my life. That is my fate. When I die, it will not be in bed. I am at peace with that. You still control the direction of your life. I have chosen this path. I truly am at peace, due in no small part to you. I was just thinking about you. It must have been really hard for Samara to ask you to help kill her own daughter. She told me she really appreciated your help. As hardcore as she is, I'm not sure she could have done it without you. I usually travel hidden away in cargo bays. It's nice to be able to look out a window for a change. Thinking about past missions. Got a minute, you might learn something. I was trying to remember how many Cerberus operatives I've killed. Lost track around 50. Guess your elusive man's big on forgiveness. Shepard, what can I do for you? Have you got time to talk? Uh, sure. Uh, let me just come on, you little bushtet! Oh, sorry. I've got a small fever and I'm taking it out on the poor drive core. Don't worry, it's nothing serious. Got sloppy while doing some suit repair. You're sick? Do you need help or time to rest? Really, it's not that bad. If a stray bit of bacteria could really kill us, we'd have all died by now. The fever should go away in a day or two. Don't worry, it won't affect my performance on the mission. It's not even an illness, really. What we experience is actually an acute allergic reaction. How exactly does the sickness work? It's an allergic reaction? Right. Say I get exposed to a human disease, like... What did Navigator Presley have that time? Chickenpox? I wouldn't get chickenpox, but I'd run a fever as my system reacted to the foreign presence. Depending on where it hits me, I could get other symptoms. Nausea, vomiting... Everything you'd expect from being sick. Were your immune system stronger before the Geth drove you from your homeworld? Not as strong as those of most races, definitely. I'm not a biologist, but there's a theory about it. Because our planet lacked insect life, plants developed symbiotic relationships with large animals to spread seeds or pollen. Most viruses on our world were partially beneficial, so our immune systems evolved to be weak. They were more likely to adapt to contamination than fight it. But Quarians colonized other worlds. It couldn't all have been like that. They weren't. Most colonists went through a period of mild illness before adapting to the new environment. When the Geth took the homeworld and our colonies, the sterile environment on the flotilla ruined our immune system's adaptability. Even if we colonized a new world or reclaimed our own, we'd need a long process of bioengineering to recover. How did you get sick this time? I took some fire in a fight back on the Alari. Nothing serious, but I needed to open my suit to check the wound. I disinfected properly, but one of the section seals had taken some damage, and foreign matter got out of the disinfected zone. It was a stupid mistake. You always check your seals before doing local treatment. Unless you forget. Then you get a damn fever. You can seal off part of your suit? Right. Like dropping emergency doors on a ship during a hull breach. It won't stop an infection that gets into my bloodstream, but it prevents a surface infection from spreading. I don't know if I could live inside a suit my whole life. We are in our suits even among family. The most intimate thing we can do with another Quarian is link our suit environments. We get sick at first, and then we adapt. It's our most important gesture of trust, of acceptance. I haven't trusted anyone enough for that, though. Except... Well, no Quarians. Um, you know what I mean. I appreciate the thought, Tally, and I feel the same way. 
but you don't have to prove anything to me. I know. Well, not that, that I know, but I, I didn't mean it like that. It's a, um, wow, it's really hot in here. It's just that the tradition also signifies a willingness for, um, intimacy. I wasn't trying to, it's not always like that. It's more, um, how did we even end up talking about this? Wait a minute. It sounds like you're suggesting something, Tally. What could I possibly be suggesting? I mean, a young woman gets rescued by a dashing commander who lets her join his crew and then goes off to save the galaxy? How could she possibly develop any kind of interest in him? You have nothing to be embarrassed about, Tally. I feel the same way about you. Really? I didn't know... You never... Well, good. Anyway, I should get back to work. But thanks for coming by and talking. <laughs>